let's say you want to just start one of your own projects and not follow the guide or the resources in the lower left corner there's the plus sign the green button you press that to make a new project this is the screen you'll typically see it has several buttons in the upper left corner we'll go through them one at a time starting with the the home button it looks like a house on the far left which brings you just back to the lobby to get back to where we were once again we hit the green button in the lower left corner with the plus sign to start a new project if we hit the second one in the upper left the book will take you to many different projects some of which like those in the getting started section are um, designed to teach you how the different parts of we do work and then there are guided projects where they will have building instructions and open projects which um, are designed for free play and for you to come up with your own building models in Here's some more guided projects and some more open projects. Uh, for instance, let's look at uh, pulling. We'll hit the blue go button. And it says that Max and Mia are impressed by machines that can pull heavy objects. They wish to investigate what makes objects move. There's a little video that you could play, but if you don't want to, you can move forward with the upper right corner of the arrow and it gives you some questions to try to answer then move forward to the next one it'll show you a video of what you're trying to build and the code necessary for it and then as before in the introduction it'll give you building instructions by just pressing the the blue button there it tells you how to connect shows you the code to use and um, gives you some extra tasks to do. Okay. And at this point, I'm going to move this back to the um, back to the lobby, back to our project. The third button in the upper left corner is the light bulb which has another model library, which shows you on the left are mechanisms that you can create. Each mechanism on the left has its own building instruction. For instance, if you wanted to make a joystick, you can hit a tilt. It shows you what you're trying to create and then building instructions and the program to use. Okay, the next button is the photograph. And that allows you to take a picture and add it to your documentation. Writing is a, a place, your digital notebook, which will allow you to add in writing, videos, pictures, all in one place where you can store it on your Lego We Do 2.0 app. The last one is if you have questions, there's some guides to the software, including uh, descriptions of all the different programming blocks and what they do. That concludes the introduction to Lego We Do 2.0 app.